Alright folks, so in this video we're going to look at the first problem of the assignment which is on ternary search trees and um, just to give some context with the assignment um, a ternary search tree is basically a tree, it's a tree and uh, because it's a tree what makes it different from a binary tree or from a binary search tree is that every node has has three children so you have a left child, you have a right child and you also now have something called a center child. So let's have a let's 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 let's, let's draw a sample tree here. So that's my node right there. This node now has three children here. So let's have the left child in green. Let's have maybe the center child. Let's have the center child in blue here. And let's have the right child. Let's have the right child maybe in orange. Okay, so I've got my I've got my three children there. And again, the same idea, the same idea moves moves downwards, and you get this entire tree, entire tree building, building, building down. Okay, so those are my three childs again for this orange node there, and then I can have three other children for my for my center node, and um, again, three children for my for my left node, and so forth. Okay, what is it that I'm gaining by doing this? How's how's Tony search going to help me? Now. So again, just trying to map things with your assignment here. Let's get some flavor for this. So let's 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 play with an actual use case. So the use case here is um, let's say my string is a bus, and I would like to take the string a bus, and I would like to insert this into my ternary search tree. So the way I'm going to begin this problem is uh, I'm going to start with the idea that my ternary search tree is currently empty. And again, if you remember from the static code that has been given to you. There are uh, two classes that are given to you, which is one of them happens to be the ternary, ternary search tree. Uh, just ignore my spelling there. I'm really bad at my spelling, so I may have spelled this incorrectly, but that's okay. So let's call this a ternary search tree, and I have something called a tree node. Okay, a tree node in this picture is basically this node here. Okay, these nodes over here are represented by a tree node, which in turn contains some attributes and one of the attributes over here is basically you can see that each of these nodes over here, each of these nodes over here has a label and the label is represented by a split chart okay so split chart basically just as an instance it's an instance variable that contains the label with that node so tree node has something called a split chart and in addition to a split chart it has basically it also has it also has a left a left child over here which is represented in green. It also has a center child which is represented which is represented in this case by aqua. So let's call the center. And it has a right child and the right child in this case is basically represented in orange there. So this is my right child. Okay, so these are some attributes that are associated with the tree node. And my question now is um, how am I going to take a string such as a bus here and insert this into my into my ternary search tree? So my ternary search is empty to begin with. So I'm going to take my first the first character there, A, and I'm going to insert this into my into my ternary search tree. So let's create a node there with a value with a value A. Okay. Now the left child, the left child for A is is right now at this point it's just basically set to none. The center child is currently set to none as well and I have my right child set to none. Now when I look at my second character B, what it really means is that B is something that is occurring in the string just after A, meaning that the string that is getting created is a string that has the character A followed by the character B, meaning that A is already equal to the first character in my string there, A and A are equal, so I'm going to start taking the center, the center node there, and then I'm going to insert on the center node, let's say the character, the character B there. Okay, so let me just put this B just right close to the node itself, so let's say that's my B there. Okay, so what is this, what is, what is this tree telling me at this point? It's telling me that, that what I have currently inserted into my tree is the string AB. The string AB the string AB has been inserted into my ternary search tree because if I want to search for AB, I can see that this A and A are equal to each other and only when they're equal to each other, I 
I start proceeding on the center note. I only take the left note, I only take the left note. So again, let's just put some pictures, let's do some slightly different colors here. I only use my left note over here when I'm looking for a character that happens to be less than A, and I only look for the right note when this happens to be when, when this happens to be greater than greater than A. And I only pursue the center note when this is going to be equal equal to A. So if I look at the first character there, A, A is equal to A, so I proceed with the center with the center note there. I now have B there, but B is equal to B, so I'm going to pursue again the center node of B there. So again, B has its three children left, center, and right. I pursue the center node, B, and now I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert this third, uh, my, my, my second B, which is going to be the character B again. B itself has now left, center, and right, at which point I'm going to insert A, and finally, I need to insert S. So let's insert S over here, which is going to be just at the center. Okay. So what I so what I have at this point is a tonally search tree with the string with the string a bass present in it. Okay. So let's perform a search now. Let's perform a search whether I have the string, whether I have a string with the characters A. B, C. Okay, that's my string A, B, C. And my question is: Given this tree, given this tree here, given this tree here, give me back a boolean value. Give me back a boolean value. A true or a false that just tells me whether A, B, C is present in my tonally search tree or not. How would I proceed this problem? First, let's look at the character. There. First character is A. I compare with the split char on the root node, which is A as well. A and A are equal to each other, meaning I'm going to pursue the center node there. So I, I pursue the center node. At which point I now have a character B. Well, B is equal to B, so I'm going to pursue again the center node of B. So by pursuing the center node of B, I'm going to hit I'm going to hit the second B in my tonally search tree. When I compare this B, the second B in my tonally search tree, which is this B over here, with the character C. I know that C is related to B by the expression, by the inequality expression, where C is greater than B. If C is greater than B, and if C were to exist in my ternary search tree, it must be, it must be on the right node of the second B of my ternary search tree. If I pursue the right node of the second B, I'm going to hit in this case I'm going to hit in this case something which happens to be none, which implies that the string A, B, C is not present in my ternary search tree. However, if I were to start with the search on the string, on the string Abbas itself, okay, which is given this ternary search tree search whether the string Abbas is present or not present. Then if I look at the first A there, and I see this A here, they're both equal to each other, so I know it is already present. So far, so good. The first character is present in my ternary search tree. I pursue the center node. I compare B and B are equal. Because they're equal, I pursue the center node. Remember, the, the, the left node over here implies less than B. The right node implies greater than B. Okay, and the center node implies equal to B. Likewise over here, the left node implies less than B. I compare with the split char of my third node in this case, and uh, the right node implies greater than B. The center node implies equal to B, and likewise this left node over here implies less than A. This implies greater than A, and this means equal to, equal to A. And likewise for the S over here, I have my three nodes, which is less than S, greater than s and equal to s so this b is already present let's look at the second b that b when checked against this b is also equal to each other so i pursue the center node and finally i had this a that a is equal to a pursue the second node the center node over here and which means i'm finally going to compare the last character of my string s against s which is also equal to itself right and this s over here if i look at the left child the center child and the right child, 
the one thing to know I have reached the end of my string is basically using the dollar sign. The dollar sign just represents that I have reached the end of my string here. Okay, so this so far, just I'm just trying to build up an intuition here that tells me that the string Abbas is present in my ternary search tree, but the string ABC is not present. ABC is not present in this ternary search tree. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build on this example, but we, I'm going to further see, given this existing ternary search tree, how would I go about entering a slightly different string into this uh, ternary search tree.